Clarissa Shields openly disrespected on Twitter. No one says anything. Just another day at the office. Let's talk. Push the weight in the flex. Flex the live is one in the six. Fit the runner boy, you nigga, no question. Yo, you would run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker, never learn your lesson. Yeah. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I mean, they walk the drink, blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker, change like a hope. Nigga. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Braun Song Deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Um, I saw this, it was shared on Instagram. This was June 11th, you know, about three days ago. Um, the internet gives people a lot of, uh, heart in which they wouldn't have, if they were in the face of the people that they were talking about. Okay. Um, so we know that there's a lot of cowards out there. There's a lot of racists out there. They hide behind avatars. They'll come in your chat and uh, say something. It's like throwing rocks at the at the empty house. You know, and, and now, you know, they don't talk behind your back. They can talk to you in real time. And it's the biggest coward move you can ever see because these people be on like the other side of the planet, literally the other side of the planet talking reckless. Now, this account from this woman named Tanya, you know, it could be a fake account. That could be a fake picture of some random, because that's the latest thing. People will pose as they're another, uh, you know, it's catfishing. You know, I get people that uh, uh, try and tell me I'm a, I'm a bad person and I'm looking at the avatar and there'll be a black face. So as a black person, you shouldn't be saying this, this and that. And then you just search Google long enough, you'll find that picture. It's just a random picture. So that person grabbed a random black person and then they'll come into your chat and they'll, they'll say something to you or try and DM you and try and gain your trust by looking at a black face. And they're trying to talk like us. No. You are so triggered by me telling the truth. You try and identify with what I'm saying. Well, not identify. That's the wrong word. You try and uh, uh, stump what I'm saying because you're insecure. You guys play these games, man. You guys are really cowards. A major 99.999% of you are cowards. And if you have the balls to show your face, you, you make sure you're at a safe distance. But trolls get found eventually. But that's not what this is about. This is about just another day at the office being a person of color in this world. If there's racism in this world, why wouldn't there be racism in this good old sport of boxing, which has existed since boxing was invented? Salem Urbina, Mexican fighter. Okay. She has a record of 12 wins, two losses, one draw. Mexican. Okay. She last fought in 2021. All right. I'd be I had to look up on Box Rec. I'd be lying to you if I told you I even knew who she was. But I do know is that she's lost two and her last fight was a draw. So she hit kind of like a, a stump in her career. You know, good luck to her. But um, she posts on her uh, Instagram or I'm sorry on her Twitter had a great time this weekend with you quote at Clarissa Shields my family was so excited to meet you thank you for being so sweet to them so apparently this female fighter met Clarissa Shields her and her family and they broke bread the way it sounds they all well they met and she was so nice to them and, and she got on her Twitter and saluted her and here comes this racist person named tanya tanya 9803622 it's more than likely a troll account this that I, I, if that's a real person look, look at the picture it's a woman flexing a skinny woman at that flexing 
replying to Salem Urbina and at Clarissa Shields. So she added them to make sure that they saw it. Hope she didn't steal anything from your home. Because that's, according to uh, some ethnicities, that's what black people do. We just steal from people's home. We steal. Do I need to get on the uh, uh, history of the, this, this planet? Of what comes out of Europe? That whole side, that, that whole side of that map. Vikings, the pilgrims, Spaniards. What is their track record comparison to Africans? We don't want to have that conversation. Let's just keep it here for a second. Let's keep it here. Nobody was talking to this fool. She added Clarissa Shields. And this, this is what social media does. Because this racist has a problem with Clarissa Shields, and I'm assuming, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'm assuming that that's her avatar. I hope she didn't steal anything from your home. We're not thieves. Y'all are. We don't go to other countries and commit the R word and steal people off their continent. That's something that y'all do. Oh, I'm sorry. Tanya, we don't know if she's actually white. She might speak another language. Doesn't matter. Because you mofos identify as white. So if you identify as white, guess what? You got to come with everything negative that comes with that. You got to go with everything negative that comes with that. The Germans denounced their Nazi heritage. They denounced it. But there's some mofos in my country of America that walk around and live by it. Go figure that. Go figure that. There's certain mofos that, I, that live by it. You want to be everything but what you're born. Until it's convenient. Or not convenient. This is a classic example of people just going along, minding their business. And some person that has nothing to do in their regular old life butts into a conversation. The, the, this woman, Salem, she wasn't even talking to this piece of shit. Who told her to chime in? Does she follow Salem? Does she follow Clarissa? She added both of them, so they both saw it. And you know what? Clarissa probably saw it and said, yeah, you know what? This ain't new. This probably ain't even the worst one. But family, this is what I'm telling you. Black people, we treat it different. Now, what you got to say now, Salem Rabena is Mexican. Let me go on record as saying this. There is no war between blacks and Mexicans. That shit is made up by a handful of insecure motherfuckers online. It's bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's bullshit. It's orchestrated by a few insecure individuals online. While we try and talk boxing, they talk about nonsense like this. And it's enabled by people like this. I'm not on Twitter for this reason. I'm on the gram and I'm on YouTube. That's enough for me. Forget that, man. Get out of here. So for those of you that care, <clears throat> I don't know who this Tanya woman is, but go on and cancel her. If you're on Twitter and you're into that sort of thing, raid her. Make her famous. But it's a shame that this type of behavior is normalized on social media. This coward. If this is really her, if that's really a woman with a picture there, with all those numbers behind it, cool. Throw a mic in her face. Make her famous. Ask her why she would say that. Ask her why she would say that. There's a whole lot I could say, but I'm not going to say it. Because I try my damnedest not to come down to their level. But just know this, it's easy to roast y'all. It's very, very easy. 
And a lot of you, all you got to do is turn your camera on. And it'll take me three seconds to understand that there's something wrong with you physically and mentally. Physically and mentally. Physically and mentally. That's why I have my channel set up a certain way. That's why you got to wait X amount of time before you say anything to my chat. This is an unprovoked attack against Sulem and T-Rex, Clarissa Shields. I have receipts. Here you go. Drew, why are you always talking about racism? Exhibit A. Look at that. These women don't know this woman, Tanya. Alleged woman, Tanya. And she attacked both of them with that. She attacked Solem for associating with Clarissa Shields and then attacked Cl Clarissa Shields and all black people by saying this. We're the videos, y'all. Or is this just the norm now? This is something we deal with. But there's no racism in boxing, right? To say that there's no racism in boxing is to say there's no racism in this world. It's to say that we're exaggerated. Bullshit, you see it firsthand, okay? Point proven. Checkmate. Don't tell me nothing. Bronx on deck. Move!